Hi, my name is Hannah Pellicaro, and today I will be teaching you the art technique of how to make a collage. The type of collage I will be focusing my demonstration on is how to make a collage that tells a story. A collage is a form of art in which various materials such as photographs, pieces of paper, or fabric are arranged and stuck to a backing. For a paper collage, it is common to use construction paper, cutouts from a magazine, old scraps of wallpaper, foils or tapes, and photographs to make your collage. One artist that I believe really uses the technique of creating a collage to tell a story is Marianne Devney. On her website, she states, My artwork embraces the universal themes of life, love, and laughter by combining seemingly desperate images and elements. I aim to create evocative, unexpected, bizarre, yet familiar narratives. This is one of Marion Devney's pieces of artwork that shows the journey of love. In the left corner, you can see that a woman in the collage has experienced love as a child and is now on the journey of love now that she is grown. Many different pieces of materials were used to make this collage, for example, magazines, photos, ad clippings, and photos that she cut out of newspapers. This piece of artwork shows how collages can use multiple types of materials to be pasted on top of one another or next to one another to tell a story. One of the most important things to remember when making a collage is you as an artist have the choice to pick and choose what materials or pictures that you want to include in your collage or how these pictures could be strategically placed. Materials that are often used for making paper collages are construction paper, cutouts from magazines, wallpaper, or photographs. So I chose photographs to put in my collage because I wanted to show the story of how my family went to the Bahamas. So as you can see, I have various pictures of my sisters and I and me swimming with dolphins that I'm going to include in my collage. Once you've collected your materials, now you need to figure out that what type of background that you want to paste your pictures on. So I chose the Bahamas picture like I said before and I'm just going to use this as my background and then I'm going to put the pictures on top of this background. So once you've chosen your background, you can just put it aside and then I would recommend getting a piece of blank white paper so that you can, once you're done cutting them out, you can paste on here as a template for what you're going to do later. So now I'm going to cut out the pieces of materials that I've picked. And just remember that you don't have to use the entire picture. You could just use a portion of the picture that you want to use. So you really have um, an artistic, you can use any type of like shape that you want to use and you can only use por part of the picture. You don't have to use the entire thing. So now I'm going to cut my pictures out and then we're going to come back later and I'll show you how to glue the pictures on to the background. tell I've cut it I cut different shapes for my pictures so that I can place them on top of one another some of them I chose to do rectangles others I chose to do circles so now this is where the blank piece of paper comes into play I'm going to take the pictures that I want to be put one by one back onto my background so as I told you before we're making a collage to tell a story so the first part of my story is how I packed for the for the trip, so I'm going to put the picture of the suitcase, then we got onto the airplane, then we arrived at the Bahamas, and then all of this other, these other activities are going to be just placed on top so that you can still see the pictures before, but you can also see how I'm putting the dolphin where we went swimming at the dolphin so that you can see. So I'm going to put this behind since that's the place we stayed. And it was sunny, so I'm going to do that. And then this, these are the last two pictures that we took on the trip. So I'm going to put them in the bottom. So I sequenced my story from top to bottom. So now I have exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take those pictures and I'm going to start pasting them back here. So we're going to start from the back picture. And then we're going to move our way forward. So I'm just going to take glue and I'm just going to paste it on to the background.
and I'm paste it right where I had it over here. So it's going to be hanging off a little bit, but it's going to be the picture that's in the back. So now I'm just going to do one by one picture. You can overlap the pictures as you go. I just finished gluing and now I have to let all of the glue dry, but as I was transferring the pictures from the paper onto here, I noticed that I wanted to leave a little bit more room so you can see the background. So you can always change around your pictures if you find that you like more of a cluster over here and more background over here. So that concludes my demonstration. So I hope that you learned a lot about how to make a collage to tell a story, and I hope that you will remember my tips in the future. I also hope that you will use these helpful hints to remember next time you make a collage. The first one is collect all of your materials ahead of time. Number two, choose a background that you believe will complement the pictures, photographs, or other pieces of material that will be glued on top. Number three, get a blank piece of paper to practice placing and overlapping your materials on. Number four, you can cut out the whole picture, a portion of the picture, or even letters from different sources and fonts to make a word. And last, give the glue enough time to dry. That's probably one of the most important things when making a collage. Thank you.